This video contains adults playing X-Wing miniatures. Adult language is used. You have been warned. Good evening, everybody. This is LP, and welcome to another Raven Squadron commentary of X-Wing. Today, we're taking a look at the Epic Loot Comics and Games Ohio Regional Round 1. We actually got a game recorded with Christopher, who gives a shit about his last name, and Alfred, somebody from Pittsburgh. So, uh, Christopher here, as you can see, is flying old Fenru. Fenral with a tiny mind link, auto thrusters, Concord Dawn Protector. Old Terok with a tiny mind link, auto thrusters, Concord Dawn Protector. And of course, Manoruski with R5P8, good old fashioned revenge droid. Little tiny mind link, feedback array, K4 because it loves them <coughs> greens. Looking over at Alfred's list, we have ye oldy Commonwealthy defenders. Again, as I mentioned before the cast, who uh, our lovely podcaster uh, commentary mates over here, Australia. They killed Steve Irwin, and now they've given X-Wing cancer. Fucking great. So welcome to Colonel Vester with Juke X7. We have Ryad with TIE Engine, PTL, and X7. And, of course, the ever-famous, always antsy, never classy, always cancerous Emperor Palpatine on an Omicron group pilot shuttle. So let's say hi to all the rest of the uh, commentators that we have with us. We have Michael Targetlock Jones. Say hi, Michael. Hi, everyone. How are we doing this evening? And we have Daniel Fiorentini. I don't have a fucking nickname for him yet. Say hi, Daniel. I appreciate the lack of nicknames. That's okay. You won't later. Oh, and, of okay. course, <laughs> and of course, then we have uh, Daniel Carver. He'll put Obama in your mama. Say hi, Daniel. David, whatever. I'll, I'll oh, call yeah, you Daniel. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah I'm Dan him. Daniel now. I don't, Daniel. I, mean, I, I think he could be my younger, my younger kid or something like John, that. If I, I had a kid, and and if he was a cat, but <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Fucking John Jacob Jingleheimer Smiths back there. I love it. So anyway, so you've heard from David. Now let's go take a look. We've gotten into the the one of the hardest parts of X Wing in my mind, which is the placement of the frickin' asteroids. <clears throat> Th this is where I think I lose a lot of games. I don't know about you guys, but most of the time I think. Hey, let's draw pretty patterns. Or, hey, I think it'd be great to put a bunch of rocks in the middle. Or, hey, <coughs> let's try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> so, as you can see here, we've got multiple debris fields right in the middle of everything. Very hateful, very exciting. What do you guys think about the asteroids so far? Well, I'm not sure who chose what, but I think both lists, in essence, kind of want to joust. Um, yeah. It's, uh, you know, you've got with the, vet, with the Commonwealth, uh, especially, they want to joust and it, they have such great jousting efficiency that they don't really care. Unfortunately, you know, you're looking at Concord Dawn protectors and with that title, they don't really care. They will joust with you and they win at range one. So you're going to see Christopher try to get range one with his two um, Concord Dawn protectors with yeah. Fenrau and Old Tenoch. And hopefully he's going to try to melt one of those defenders. If he doesn't in the initial joust, he's officially behind. Um, auto thrusters won't trigger with defenders as much because you're going to see defenders um, basically being able to be in arc at range two if they have a shot. Yeah. Um, fortunately, they have lower pilot skills. So you've got PS7, PS9 with Fenrau and um, Old Tenoch respectively. So... I mean, it's, you know, it may, this is kind of a good matchup because you have pal paces and then you have Scum's version of pal paces with Manaru being able to pass all these actions. Yeah. That is a really <clears throat> good way to look at it with uh, with basically Manaru being the Scum equivalent of Palpatine. That's actually, <clears throat> I kind of dig that concept because Manaru is, in essence, doing an insane amount of work, throwing out focus tokens and target locks and just making it so that... The, like a scum ship can become even nastier yeah. and including potentially just chucking target locks that have been received onto a different ship just to screw with things. Well, what, what, what helps makes it though is, is the tawny mind link on there, man. Oh, I, I've flown against similar type lists and it's freaking annoying as hell trying to go through and deal with that mind link um, being passed around because there's everybody's got to have focus. It doesn't freaking matter. The only way you can control it really is if you can get <coughs> somebody stressed and you load up mana of stress or something like that. Yeah, it, it's got to be the stress mechanic is the way to defeat Manaru. Because, good lord. Now, so would you say the key to, to killing this list is killing Manaru first? Do you kill Manaru first? 
I don't think so. I think you have to take out off a, uh, honestly, you have to yeah. deal. Fen Rao is kind of like Sunterfell in essence, because yeah. if you don't take care of him, if you don't address him, then he will eat you up the rest of the game. You With kill, the, yeah. You kill what's given to you essentially. If if he sure. throws out one ship <clears throat> out in the open and you can take two to three shots at him, you t- you take it because they have only four hold. They don't have shields. Mm-hmm. And you, the first thing you blow up is going to sh- greatly change the game. In this, especially in a list where it's one support ship and two aces, that will carry carry the load, frankly. But and so, it's a really weird, really weird question, if, if you don't mind me kind of interrupting there. So we take a look at, at old Tarok. Now, I've tried to make things with old Tarok work, and I'll be damned if he just doesn't seem viable to me. Now, I love his effect. I think everybody in this range one bubble, it's like, you know what? Your focus tokens and evade tokens are now gone. Eat a dick. And that's what he does. He's just a great big force of chaos. But I don't know that he's in a good enough spot right now. It's a I hit or miss. The, the, the one thing I noticed is if you have Old Man Tarok, you want to be going second, uh, at least having sec- going second on initiative. Yeah, he's what, a PS7, large, right? He's PS7, but largely because of uh, b- at the beginning combat phase abilities. For example, if you have a Ray crew, uh, the person with the Ray crew, if you give them initiative, will put the focus token down first. And so with Old Man Tarok's sudden, ability, you take strips. it. You take it right after. Nice. That's Unfortunately, it's rather irrelevant in this matchup. However, um, taking away any tokens from defenders are a vital way of killing them because they just have so much efficiency. Um, does, he, does he strip target locks too or just focus? Just evade? focus and evades? Yes, just if focus and mistaken. evade for old, so, I'm not mistaken. So it's kind of like yeah. you're playing with a paylob where except like his old Tarek has to be at range one, right? So old Tarek has to be at range one where Paylob can strip from one and two. So Paylob forces you to take target locks. Old Tarek kind of forces you to take target locks. But he gets rid of the juke effect from Vessery if he can get to range one of Vessery. The thing with Tarok too, is that uh, you have to be in their arc. So oh, right, yeah. you risk yourself to a shot as well. But he shoots I mean, first in this list. In this matchup, yes, he will shoot first. And that's a plus. Um, the only problem is if he doesn't have his tokens. Yeah. He's kind of in the dead spot, much like any uh, Fang ship will be. Uh, I do want to mention, because we were talking about debris earlier, though, is that uh, there are four debris yeah. on the field. That means Chris probably brought one. Yeah. Uh, I At least from my perspective, I wouldn't bring debris as on a Atani Mind Link list. Would you bring debris? Because if you stress yourself on an accident by one, <coughs> once... Everybody gets stressed. Everyone gets stressed. And I've seen matches get completely thrown out simply because you get one stress, you do a white maneuver on, on a Fen Rao, he's in range two of a dash, and gets four die to the face. I don't like that too much. Fuck We've got dash. a couple of four forwards here. Let's see if he's doing the hard one to disengage. No, he's going to go. He's going balls deep. <clears throat> we have balls deep in Hyannis board here. Not quite. I mean, he's going four forward, so it's kind of a tempered measure here. Now, is that Fen Rao at the bottom left-hand corner? I think so. We'll find out real quick. Really sure that is Fen. No, that's got to no, 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 be Old It's Old Tarok. It's, it's, it's Tarok. He, has, he, has he doesn't yet. have any adaptability. Oh, no, you're right. 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 He has to be Old Tarok. The first one right. to move. Correct. Yep, yep, yep. So we, we're seeing a little bit of the beginning um, beginning cur- pangs here. I mean, if he wants to joust, that's fine, but he, yeah, ha- he has to bring to bear yeah, all of his, all of his ships say. to take down a defender. Yeah, rule you of need... 11 shows he's not he's not quite to range yet. So Not at all. Um, so the next turn, I mean, you can see the defenders go three forward without breaking the sweat and yeah. maybe one bank, one... Uh, he's look, looks oh, like he's, he's got to boost. boost. He's going to boost. Yeah, that's some danger mouse shit right there. Yeah. I, mean, I suppose he's depending on the auto thrusters, <clears throat> but still, man, do you really want to put like old Tarek at range, like the edge of range three? Against a pair of defenders, yeah, you're gonna be. It's gonna be three dice on four, but still, mm-hmm. I mean, Vessery has a Vessery has an evade token. Mm-hmm. Green die and always Palpatine. fail you. Yeah, Palpatine too. Green yeah. die always fail you too. Never count on green die. Oh, my red dice also fail me. I mean, that's that's you and Parker. Yeah, my but, life pretty much fails me sometimes. Yeah, so I get you. That's kind of just sad. Oh, he's man. real close. He's real close to me. This is where second guessing happens. But you know, if Old Tarak perhaps didn't take the boost and next turn went five forward. Um, it would be big enough to block the K-turn if they did five forward themselves. Okay, who cares? They're behind you. I mean, it would, you know, at this point, 
the 4K for both of the defenders probably wouldn't block and would put them in a pretty good position because you know the Concordon protector has to go at least two forward or a hard one. Also, a general rule of thumb is <clears throat> taking no shots is always better than taking a eight, shot. Eight shots. A, a shot in general. Right. You get so that blank. It's like uh, two hits up there. Yeah, the two hits. Two hits. Look, he even put him down there. Nice. Yeah. Two hits. I love this what guy. What a nice guy. Way to go, Chris. And I see a lot of green dice. Looks and like two evades. Two evades. So yep. get fucked. Uh, Dino fire. More of the evades than two evades. <laughs> it look like a focus result. Yeah. So he's not burning the focus. Doesn't need to burn any, yeah. any evades. Doesn't even relevant. scratch the paint. Yep. Look at our lovely updated graphics. Ooh, lovely thing. updated graphics. So, so it looks see. like that. Wait a minute. So why the hell is uh, Raya going first? Because she. Yeah. Wait. No. Vesser no. 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 goes first. Vesser goes first. Why? That's the PS6. But no. Tarek 7. No, it's Tarek already shot. No, I thought that was... Oh, that's right. Yeah, Tarek shot. Tarek just uh, shot. Correct. <clears throat> Fenrir. I thought Fenrir shot for a moment. My bad. So what we got there, guys? Three, two hit crit. Two hits crit. Versus and... at least one evade. Maybe two evades. We got auto thrusters for one. one auto thrusters for three. Yeah, nice. Three evades? Yes, three yep. evades. Uh, so two evades, auto yeah. thruster for three. <clears throat> So we have the gentle dance of the sugar plum fairies. Let's see mm -hmm. if old Tarox luck can hand up again. Looks like two hits. He's deciding whether he's going to pal up here. No, he's not. And I see one. Uh, one squiggle. One, two. Two, two, two evades. Two evades. Yeah. Wow. With the, um, so old Tarox Rolled dice. one and then got, got one with the <clears throat> other thrusters. Okay, so that was, that was fortunate for Chris. Uh, his green die didn't fail him, unlike mine at some times. Um <clears throat> Hey, so, dumb idea here. Do you, do you anticipate the K turn from the defenders? I think you have to. Yes. So you hard one so, here. So you hard one, or you, have you to. maybe soft one, or not soft one. Maybe like hard one or hard two. It's like a four K is going to put you right below that, uh, below the nebula ring, right? Right. Yeah, ring. it will put you about there. You, you have to remember, defenders only don't go one, can't go one straight. No, so yeah. they can going two straight minimum, and their four Ks are whites. Yeah. Uh, Raya, we don't talk about Raya. Raya can. Raya's got a K turn wherever. Two through five green yeah. K turn asshole. At this point, Tarak has a decision. Here. I would personally go straight for the shuttle and just wail on it. I forget did the shuttle. The shuttle must have one hearted last turn or something. Or, uh, I stopped. Well, I mean, it stopped. It stopped. Right? It stopped last so turn. Bad. So it's gonna one bank more than likely, or one straight. So I don't play a lot of I don't play against a lot of defenders because usually uh, the people I play against can kick my ass with Z ninety fives. But uh, so playing against uh, playing against defenders, what do you take out first? Do you go for do you go for Vessery? Do you go for Riad? Do you go for Palp? I mean, what the fuck do you kill first? You got to go for Riad. I mean, Riad's the best one of the best in game ships out there for the point even, cost. Even lower PS than everything else. Yes, because it's the most maneuverable ship in the game. I mean, like, other but, than Dash Rendar, it's but just... But also ridiculously predictable, though. I mean, you know she got a K-turn. I suppose. Yeah. She doesn't K -turn. have to K-turn. Two, two three, four, or five. You yeah. can be anywhere. Right. Yeah. Two, well, three, you four, take out five. Riot anyways, because she's the target lock ability for, um, for Vessery. <clears throat> anyway, Vessery without his target locks is just a regular... It regular shuts defender. down the offense. If it's Vessery... Ver I'm not worried about Vessery in the end game. He's just a defender that can 4K. Riot can be anywhere. And with in the hands of a good pilot, Riad and Palpatine can tear apart even the best of lists. My idea when I see a list, these two lists, though, it's really hard for the Fang fighters to destroy the defenders without taking out Palp first, because they're always gonna, they're almost always they're gonna have one of eight token, plus one more from Palp, and you're making, you're basically counting on three naked green die. Rolling zero for one shield through every time. Yeah. Yes, Fen can punch through five damage at, in <clears> one <throat> turn, but you, I, I still say shoot, go after the shuttle first if possible. Especially with those two ships, you can kill Man, the shuttle first. The problem, the problem with that strategy is that like, okay, turn and fucking kill you. Basically, that's oh, he did too hard there too. Yeah, so he's gonna adjust, and this is this is good. Is it too hard is white you, on a shuttle? It's, it's red. It's red. So he's got mm -hmm. stress token again. This is not the up slow. Oh, oh no, down. he must have bumped yeah. initially. Yeah, he, he, he bumped. bumped initially. He didn't okay. stop, right? Mm. Yeah, doing the Hassan thing where he just four Ks and bumps his own defenders. Repeatedly until you move. You can't take credit for that. That was that's been done by the Howards. I yeah. know, but for when I play as a play, saying of playing against him, as he was doing it over and over again, I'm just like, 
Oh, man. Okay, so obviously he's going to keep Manaru back because why not? You've got a free focus thing. But I don't really think he should here. You need you need Manaru kind don't of in the mix of things. Firepower? Well, you're going to need some a pass on the uh, on the target locks. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what Manaru in in the current like mix up does for you. Oh shit. <clears throat> no, okay. Look like it looks like a three bank coming in from um Right. That's designed to block Fenral. Yeah. yeah. Uh looks like it would block anything but a three forward as far as like a forward forward movers go. Yeah, three forward's gonna be right up on that edge. Because mm-hmm. he's right around the four, he's right around mm-hmm. range four from him. It looks like. Yeah, it, it's a pretty good move because you know with with these concord dawn protectors, they only really work against defenders well if you have both of them shooting at the same target, especially with Manaru disengaged. <clears throat> now, My, here's what I'd love. You know what I'd love to see right here? I would love to see. A K turn. Wait, do uh, do Concord Dons have a K turn? They just have a sloop. They, they have, have a, a talon roll, a two have, talon they roll. Have, they have a three K turn, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they do have a two talon rolls. It's a four K and two talon yeah, rolls. See, four, four K and two talon rolls. Yeah. Yep, what I would really hope would be a four K from Old Terok and a uh, like a like a two straight from uh, Fenrau, and just erase a motherfucking defender. That's what I would love to see. Is that going to happen? No. But let's see what happens. So we have a marked ship down. We're going to try and figure out where Taraki tra- is going. See what he's doing. Yeah, try and see if we were, yeah, where he's going to be walking. Oh, shit. Okay. So I actually, from Chris's idea, I actually don't, I didn't mind that initially. Oh. But uh, unfortunately, oh. defenders love their three three banks. Oh, shit. That's, that's, that's pain all right there. Yeah, that is a lot of pain coming Well, in. it could be good, Yeah, depending on which one he hits well, first. He's right. got, plus, he's got a range. It, so, no, it, it, well, was, you could it was be, worse. Yeah. Well, you could have um, uh, Fan come up and, depending on how he's going, bump into. Um, okay. By the way, no, but we, we found out that, I, th- I don't know if it's been mentioned so far, but we found out that uh, this is Chris's, what, seventh game of X Wing ever, and here he is playing in a regional. By the way, kudos to Chris. I, I'm yeah. just joking around about not caring what your last name. We care about your last name. I just don't know what it is. It's Christopher Kreitz. There we go. Kreitz. There we go. See, David knows. David's smart. I don't care. But anyway, so yes. um, now we get to see. It. Shall we place bets? Because he's in front of the camera. What's the bets that he's going to end up getting blocked? Who's going to take? Who's going to take? Who's getting blocked? Because I well, can put I, 10 I bucks that Tarot got blocked. Well, the Fen went Fen, two Fen, straight. He went three, four. He go, he just, um, Target locked. Yep. Ben went two straight. How about that? So it, was it two or three? It was. Well, we couldn't tell. Like we he, couldn't tell. We couldn't tell because he was in the camera. It's probably two. Way. Look about two. Because uh, two the, seems about right. You know what that makes me think? Three would have blocked. If that's a two. Three would have yeah, blocked, the, probably. Yeah, three would have would have yeah. unblocked. So, so it, maybe that's a three, then a four would have blocked. Oh, so that I, actually worked know. out in his favor. Well, because he kinda. removed the, the he removed all the tokens from Ryan. The ship he's touching. Yep. Yeah. That actually wasn't so bad. I forget. Does does, Fen, does uh, old Terok remove all tokens from every ship or all tokens from one ship? You choose. You have to choose one enemy ship. Yeah. Gotcha. Range one. Choose so one. The only problem with that is that I don't think he can strip Riot's tokens because they're not in arc of each other. All right. Look, no, like we got dice coming again. His arc only. They're not. Let's see where these dice go. Each other's arc, if I'm not mistaken. So we are preparing. Because he did dice. remove the tokens from yeah. that from Chris, that point. Looks like uh, Fen Rao's shooting. If if they didn't, that might Five, be a, nice. a rule. I think it was a mistake. That yeah. was a rule mistake. Yeah. What does okay. that look like? Yeah. It looks like, uh, it's like three one, hits. One hit. It's at least three hits. Might be two hits and I a crit. I'm three. not sure. We'll call it three hits right now. Yep. And looks like one dodge, maybe. He palped for another. Yeah, palped for another dodge. So I guess he popped his shield off. So two days. So um. But but Mark, we need. I mean, no, like we're looking. Palpatine we're symbol. looking at Ryan. We, we can see Ryan's card. Ryan's card did pretty, not lose a. So maybe shield. palped at all. So it was two dodges and a palp. Two dodges and a palp for okay. third. Now they're checking arc to see if they've got shots on each other. All right, so those three. That was an annoying thing when I was fighting, flying against those things. Palp kept going through and invading, t- sh- making Ryan live way too long. Yeah, so there was a slight rules mistake where um, Christopher took off the tokens from Countess Ryan. Uh, Countess Ryan should not have lost the tokens because uh, Tarok be have to be an arc of each Tarok's other. have to be in the arc of each other, right? Uh, which 
ultimately didn't matter too much, but it is a rules thing for both uh, Alfred and Christopher to remember in the future. Because losing all those tokens can mean uh, a lot of shields. Could have meant, sh- meant three shields, four sh- three uh, yep. shields and a, and a hit. Could have yep. been. Yep, yep, yep. So let's see. Apparently they've uh, apparently those two ships aren't an arc, so he's just going to turn around and shoot the shit out of... Uh, Fenral. Yep. So mm. Fenral taking it in the face. Duda, Duda, four dice. That That's looks, range one arc, and of course... Uh, that looks like it was four hits. Yeah, I'm thinking it's four hits. At least four hits. Maybe four yeah, edge. that was definitely... Looks like three hit crit. Vessary. Maybe three hit crit or four hits. I'm not sure. Vessary shot four hits. So one evade automatically. Wow. He's got the one auto- automatic there. Yeah, from he's the title. Roll. Yep. He's going to roll oops, four. Oops. Is it one? Oops. There we go. You Why is he only rolling three dice? Maybe it was range two. No, that no, that no it had to be range two. He's one. not recognizing the title. No, no. The title he added already. That title. He's not recognizing Fenral's ability. So yeah. that was two damage. Or maybe he was going after Two damage into Fenral? Fenral, yes. Looks like it, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, he should have, uh, for Christopher, he should have rolled one extra die. Right? If Do that's how see, Chris, wait, where, where that's how Fenral works. Where are the damage cards? Fenral works. Uh, you the get damage four cards are right, range one. right here. Uh, no, I'm uh, saying I don't see him as taking any damage cards. Oh, there, there's the extra. Yeah, you just realized. Yeah, 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 yeah there's extra. The okay, so you took, just took one. Yeah, just there's took one damage. Yeah, there there is the extra. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Excellent. So they remembered. Yay, so Chris team. remembered. Yay. So there's the second shot. Ugh, God. That one wasn't so great. There's a target lock. Yeah. Okay. It's got to be Ryan. Yeah, that's Ryan. So there's two hits there. Oh, Actually, that's a, a hit, hit and crit. crit. Yeah. There's his auto. Uh, this is three and hits in total. Two, one of them being a crit. So two hit crit versus two hits. All right. That one, is looks like two, three evades. Three evades maybe. If he's rolling for Fen Rao, he's not rolling enough dice. No, he rolled four that four that time. Uh, I took the. It looks like he did take a damage. He did take one crit. So he only ro- he rolled a focus and a evade on that last roll. Wow. So it was one auto evade, one evade, and a focus result. Yeah, Chris is way behind at this point. Yeah, he's got the shuttle deep. coming in for auto thrusters, and he's in a position that, where he probably has to K turn or yeah. hard hard one with the uh, old ten oach and maybe K turn with Fenral or Talon roll. Yeah. So uh, how many uh, hold is um was it into Fen has Terok? two health left. It was on, uh, yeah two health left, and then Alterok has full. Yeah, Alterok is naked. Everyone else is full. No one else is taking damage. Uh, I do, from and what I can see, I can't see like what that car. Yeah. I'm yeah. Looks. I, I I do appreciate Alfred and Christopher trying to be as 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 helpful as they can be with the camera. I, we do really greatly appreciate that. Yeah, that does not suck, as the French would say. So the question now is, we're back to dials. What do you do? What do you do with old Tarok? Because if you K-turn, you're going to take a shuttle up the ass. Uh, one hard. Left. See, if it, I, I can't tell that much from here. If it can, it, if a one hard left will make him beat, not bump Fenrell. If it doesn't bump Fenrell. Actually, even, even if it bumps, bumps Fenrell, it wouldn't be the worst thing. But yeah, that's if he decides K-turn. If he decides to K-turn with the defenders, that might be problematic. But then again, you would remove the tokens. So that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I really, I don't know what I he would like do. I feel like if Fenral K turns, he's going to die this turn. Fenral K turning will k- die. Yeah, so he has to basically disengage at this point. Disengage and sneak behind the shuttle. Or he could try right. shenanigans and try for a, like a two talon uh, let right. Oh, or the, the, a two bank barrel roll puts Fenral in a pretty decent position because you know the shuttle's not going to one bank into the debris. The shuttle's going to go like... You know, Charles going to go, gonna go one, one or, yeah, one or two forward, slow roll it because just in case, you know, and, I mean, the Concord Dawn protectors actually can melt the shuttle this turn if they wanted to. I mean, Fenral, sure. The defenders probably can K turn, but it's, it would be range three perhaps at that point. So maybe it wouldn't, if they, for, if they, both the defenders four K turn and both the, both the, um, you see if I'm Riot, I three K. <clears throat> oh, keep it, sure. Keep the range close. Oh Yeah. Because I mean, it, I, I don't a two K might almost fit, you know. Right. It's going to be really, really close because there's not quite a full base length between Ryad and Fenral. And you're not worried about Manor's two dice at all ever yeah. in life. It's like, like who yeah. gives a rat's ass? Right. But I mean, as long as, as but as long as you three K, then of course you're going to get the benefits of the. 
the title, oh, the X7 as well. title. Correct. So, so I three seven Riot, I three K Riot, and then four K. Uh, Vessi. Vessery, and then yeah. they should be basically parallel to each other. Right. I think I think both the uh, Concord Dawn Aces might be better to try to take the shuttle out this turn at range one. Oh, oh it went too soft. That's going to uh, put him right on the... Oh, nope. Look at that. Squeeze Looks like he gets some misses it. Mm. Wow. I might, I might have seen some movement on the debris cloud there just a little bit. Yeah. yeah it looked like... It was real close. It was close. It was legit. It was, it was really close. Very close. Very close. I'll give a I'll give kudos to Alfred on that one. Yeah, that was really close. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you know what's kind of funny? Three Manaru bank. starts in the back, right? Right. Yeah. Manaru has played such a non role in this game so far. And I think that's a mistake. I mean, you need if you want K four to trigger, especially for the initial engagement, get Manaru in there. I mean, yeah. so there it goes. It, did, yeah. It, did he get range three on somebody to get the free target lock? Yes. Good. Good. So. With that kind of mana build, with the it had a pain bot, it had the K four Astro K four Astromech. Yeah, you want to be sort of getting mana in, so it you, can get the target locks off and be passing on to the fang, the uh, the aces. Yeah, I feel like that mana needs to dance around the edge of the board at like range three, and just basically dance around the fight at range three, making green moves, getting target locks, focusing up, passing them to some fool, and then. Jacking away and always ending up with a reverse focus in, in return. So was that a that was a three K? That was like a three K, as yep. we suspected, right? And You're gonna the, see all the shenanigans here. Yeah, and then the four K should put, uh, um, should put Raya or Vestry right beside Riot. Target lock onto old Terra. Looks like Christopher just double checked his dial. Yeah. Yeah. You got all the tokens there. Looks like focus evade and possibly target lock. Yep. Yeah. Got yeah, the, target yeah, lock. The the, yeah. PTO yeah. from the turn. It looks like he target locked. Uh, he tar I think he target locked, target locked uh, old Terra. Looks like it. Yeah. So now here's uh, the 4K. Yeah. Here's the 4K. It's, yeah. I think I see a Cubs hat on Christopher. I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> as a White Sox fan. Well, I mean, the Cubs won the World Series this year, though. This year's that. Yeah, I mean, wait, 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 wait. It, yeah, it, but this is the ultimate case of a blind squirrel. Yeah, my, my grandfather oh, was, that is really, was rolling really over close. the grave. Yeah. yeah, they're parallel, though. They're so, parallel, I mean, so it they, helps. Yeah. But I just want to point out, though, that, yes, they, they were parallel in appearance, but even like being a half a millimeter off in, in orientation of Vessery would have meant that there would have been a bump. Seriously, a, yeah. a, a millimeter would have done it. So the fact that he kept them exactly perfectly square to each other is just, that's balls deep flying right there. <clears throat> I'm really curious what Chris is going to do because he... Get shit on. He's going to get shit on. He's, that's one way to put it, man. He has no faith. I mean, if... No, if, he's going to get shit on. I, yeah. think, I think he takes... No Alfred faith. Alfred blocks here. Faith. If Alfred blocks here, it could be very, very... Oh, uh, there. the okay, so what did I say about It might have been an attempted talent. I hope it's not, because I don't want to see stress for everyone. That would be bad. Yeah, or t or terror. No, there wasn't yes. a talent. Oh, wait, there was too hard. It was too hard. Yeah, it's too hard. Oh, no, it wasn't a talent though. It wasn't a talent. What's this? What's this? Okay, so what's this, this is going to be. A what's this? Oh. He tried to. Oh, that was a four K. Oh, oh boy, and everyone's stressed now. Oh. Oh, that's so bad. Oh. Oh, Christopher. I, I do have to give kudos, crap, uh, kudos to Alfred, though. The two bank was a... It was a really it was good, a good maneuver yep. to get that ball. Unexpected. Block. Yep. So I didn't think so it was going to I didn't think you could make it. No, I didn't. One bank, two bank. Like, the two bank fit. That was ridiculously close. Mm, I mean, like... That was real close. But puckeringly close. That was really, like, like <sighs> fractions of millimeters away from making love to some deadlifts. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm still not sure about that one. Uh, we had oh my god! Look at I kind of want the instant replay on where's that. The, one. Uh, the camera's deceiving, man. The where's camera. The stress? Was that only a four straight, not a four K? Where's the stress? Oh, that was my my man. Just a four, four straight. straight. Yep. He, he was might, going for the shuttle. He's going for the shuttle. Yep. That's not. That's I. I, I like the idea. It's just mm -hmm. unfortunate that he. Did, I didn't think the two bank would have made it. I yeah, the two. They were, they were expecting the one straight, just like we were all thinking it would one straight. Right. So they're diving for the shuttle, just like y'all thought. At least, uh, at least we get Concord Don protector effect from uh, uh, shuttle back. Not against at, the defenders, though. Oh yeah, the no, defenders are going to shuttle over him. You yeah. have yeah, one. You done. have uh, Fen Rao Target taking locks. three shots this turn. 
One at range one from a shuttle. It's two gonna, at range two from the defenders. It's going to be but us puck us. It's He's really pretty be much dead. There is no pretty much. He's, you know, R.I.P. There's nothing yeah, happening. Fen here. Rao, unless his dice are just godlike, totally has a two turntables and a microphone event right here. I mean, I've mm-hmm. seen some godlike dice. All right, here comes the end dice roll. This is going to be five. <laughs> I see five dice. I see. Uh, that is that looks legit almost five like hits? five results. Yeah, because I don't see any modifying. Yeah, that is five results. And that is oh, nothing. And that is nothing. So all of a sudden, bam, half points on Palpatine. You know, that's not right. so bad. But that's he's, he's gotten sixteen. He's gotten fifteen points. <laughs> he just got fifteen points there. And he's about to lose thirty three. I mean, basically, fifteen is better than nothing, right? Well, Meatloaf said, "Don't be sad because two out of three ain't bad." So, yeah, Meatloaf joke. Oh God! So that brings us up to Palpatine shuttle with no Vessary. no shields there. Absolutely. So Might have range the, one. Let's see the dice count here. Poor Finucci. Oh, it's totally range one on. Uh, well, wait, it's, it's not. It can't be range one. No, that, that is definitely not Vessary. range one. Yeah, Vessary. Vessary to defend. That is not range one. Let's see. It should be three. Dice. We'll see. Look close. We'll see. It did look close, but well, I, 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 close. Dice, Alfred. <laughs> stop, he, stop he, jacking. He's it. trying to start three. Mm. fire. One, two, 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 two hits. Two, two hits. hits. That's definitely he, yeah. Why isn't he triggering Riot's ability? What's right? Oh, he's contemplating whether he should power. No, this here. is Vessary's ability. No, well, yeah. I mean, why isn't he? And it looks right? like you got one more. So, so why did he reroll Oh, from the target lock? Oh, so he that's one crit. In, oh, no. That's two crits and a hit. Oh, two, it's two crits thing. and a hit? Two, two crits crit and hit. a hit. Yeah, yeah. Like two crits and a hit. I see one dodge, two blanks. And one evade. So that's a dead Fen. Yep. Because he dodge. already had. Actually, no. Fen had already three damage on him. No, he had two. 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 There's three damage cards on him on yeah. the left. No. That's weird. Why are there three damage cards? Yeah, he's there? dead. Well, no, he's dead regardless. He, 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 he took two or three. He's dead regardless. He's dead. So we got a, um, a dead Fen, Fen Rao. Yep, he's basically deader than Kenny Loggins' career. All right. So that's just hey, man. sad, man. He was flying through the danger zone. There we go. No so we true. noticed that um, Fen has a next, nice little X next to him and stuff. So he's he's now dead. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely range two. From uh, Ryan, it's just a focus token modifier. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's a target lock modifier, too. He has target lock next, too. Uh, so that's a crit two and hit two crit. hits. Holy Man, shit. He's ro- Alfred's rolling fire. Oh, Looks like one that's dodge. one Blank dodge. Out. No, one dodge. And so, it's range two, so no auto turret burglars. So he just took one. He's, he's, uh, oh, then the crit. Direct it looks hit? like a direct hit. So, yep. so he's got uh, three damage down. One wow. left. And that was fast. And this is this is why Colin Walker. Yeah, so I got down to one. All right, so he's he's down to one hut hall left. And we saw Alfred there putting both fists down on the table triumphantly in the gorilla like position of Mongo Kill. The simian aggression. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Simian aggression. Oh yes. The simian aggression that's common with most Commonwealth Defender players. <clears throat> You saw the claw, the claws of the emperor. So reach it looks out. like uh, two dice were rolled. Yeah, oh, yeah we Manaru. Manaru has it shot. It looks like a like a hit. Yeah, one Man- hit from Manaru. Manaru's, Manaru's token sniper. shot. No, Manaru's one a sniper, hit. dude. One hit. And from, yeah, from eighty-five thousand. Manaru's uh, only a sniper against. Spending the evade token. So, but it's one. It's spent the evade. The lack of faith amongst you two is disturbing. No, <laughs> we're just hateful, bitter old fucks. As well. okay. Always, always. All right, all right. All right. And with no, right. you don't We're believe back in Manaru the sniper, man. No, no not no, a bit. Absolutely absolutely not. Get fucked. I, I've yeah. been in one hit, right. one damage, one hit from Manaru way too many times. Crimey River on turrets on turrets. If, if a dash render player can play, so this is where the um, about a lower a, PS a, turret. I'm a, gonna a, laugh. A, yeah. a, I don't <laughs> appreciate that comment. <laughs> All right. And this is where the um, current stats are for for the ships and stuff. So it looks like um, on the Crown Group pilot, the Palpatine shuttle is only. Taking the shieldless now. Uh, we got Fenrell off the board. Ozone Terok is limping along and wishing he was in a, in a nursing home. And uh, Manaro is like, hey, guys, what the hell are you fucking doing up there? That is right. basically how this match is going. So at this point, you have to figure that um, Alfred does not want his shuttle to get in the way of his defenders. So, But he wants to make sure he gets actions here. So he might just try to disengage the shuttle with like a two bank maybe? Too or hard. Maybe? He can't do it too hard. He's stressed. He's yeah. 
He's oh, still so red. It's too hard to a red for yeah. shuttles. Yes, I don't fly Imperial, dude. I, I fly know. Rebel. I know. Well, so here's a You're a rebel question. scum. Yeah. If you look at old Terok, so we know that old Terok has a one hard. We know that old Terok has. Um, that's and it looks. I see a stress action. token. It looks to me like he did indeed try to do the two talon roll. No, uh, yeah, that's weird. So he's definitely going. That stress green token maneuver. was added later. Right. Yeah, they. Yeah. They it looks like they've. Um, Christopher forgot to add it in there. Ah. Uh. So okay. He's for the two so you're looking at a disengagement from old Tarak, and you're probably looking at a. So I'd say maybe three forward and five forward for the for the for the two boys. Yeah. Three forward, keep the stress because it doesn't matter. You're a shuttle. Who cares? And then you've got the two defenders, hopefully an arc of old Tarak. <clears throat> yeah, I'll buy that. I mean, hey, that's basically really what they're going care to if do. Who's behind them or anything? Anything either at this point? No. So to die, you're not going to care. You're not concerned. I mean, Manaru might so just three forward, and try and three forward the for shuttle. the shuttle. Yeah, three forward for the shuttle, or, or th but you can't do th uh, three bank is red. But well, I mean, it's shuttle than Manaru, right? So that's why we have technology, Mike Jones. What's that? I'm looking it up. Yeah. <laughs> what was technology, Mr. Carver? I have yeah, no idea. Baby, don't hurt me. Okay. What is that you're doing on your phone? Looking at the shuttle to see if it has a three bank. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, it, that's it, it, exactly I'm pretty sure it does have a three it's bank. Red. But is it's it red? all red. I think three yep. or high is red. Okay. Yeah, it's two hards red, three soft. So it's red, going three four forward straight, white. Or four straight, I think is red. I'm calling too. three forward white, and then five forward with the uh, with the two defend orders. Yeah, it works. A five, a five forward bump. Or you three soft. Oh, you know what? You're right. It would bump. Um, perhaps two bank. Yeah, maybe three bank. Three yeah. bank would do it. Or one Lush. straight. Really? Oh no, it doesn't move. Oh, clever. No, nah, well. I mean, uh, this probably, is what, it seriously this, gets him in the way, though. I mean, it's now you got to be really careful about how you position your defenders because now the defenders have to basically say, well, how they have to move before Tarok does, which means that they have limited mobility in what they're in their threes that they can use. So, I mean, I could see Vessery just saying, screw it, five forwarding, and then maybe Ryad like three softing. I could almost see like Ryad three soft. In towards, uh, we got a two forward out of Riot. A two, yeah, two forward. Riot's not worried. I mean, like, basically, she knows she's not getting He's shot. He's lost shields on the shuttle. He can take damage on the defenders. It's not a problem for him. No. And then yeah, we'll he, see. He can afford to lose some shields. Good point. No. If, uh, well, here's the thing. Do you think he barrels? No. Mm, no. Focus target lock. Call it a day. And right now, um, just as I'm going through and updating scores here, Christopher has like half points for the um for the shuttle. Yeah, yep. 15. yes, so. 15 points is 29 point ship. Uh, and Alfred's got however many points old Tarak was, or a uh, Fenral, which is what 32. Yes. So 15 to 32, coming at you live. Not really. <laughs> kind of sounded like Optimus Prime there for a minute. Autobots roll yeah. out. Okay, no, so, so much the much. shuttle stopping here. Do you think that was a good move? I mean, yes. If he does a two forward, I don't know. perhaps, but a two bank will clear. I mean, and he, you know he's not hard twoing, so he's just gonna fly past the shuttle it's anyway. The barrel roll. <clears throat> uh, I definitely said he was gonna do a barrel roll. <laughs> right. I love revisionist history there, Daniel. Yeah, uh, definitely. It does open yeah, up his yeah, arcs. I think it makes a lot of sense. One forward with the shuttle. Yes, he, he did one, one forward, forward shuttle and bump. Yeah. To intentionally so you, bump. So you right. can clear the, clear the stress off so you yeah. can just bump. So, so yeah. next so turn, next turn, if necessary, Riot five straights and calls it a day? Yeah. Uh, five straight, actually, looking at that angle, would probably bump the debris. Yeah. It's weird on this angle. You it, can't yeah, really can't, tell. Camera. Uh, Carver, can you put up two more cameras next time? Uh, yeah, no, we on, had barely had enough room for one camera. <laughs> I, mean, I love it. Right. David, could you just do more work, please? Thank you. Uh, you know, at this point, no. he might barrel roll with Vessery as well. Yeah, then maybe block Vessery uh, or block... Uh, no, he's just focusing. I mean, guys, we had 121 players here at this freaking regional. 31. Oh, no, we had 121 at your players, 131 at your registered. <laughs> So ten people are irrelevant, and you technically you say it was out of one hundred thirty-one players. Yep. Right. No, the, that's how we it had works? we had one hundred twenty-one actual players. Okay. Well, I like it's still it's still the biggest fucking regional we've had in lately. Uh, how much was the last one? Wixom was pretty high. Yeah, but it wasn't near one hundred twenty-one. 
Mm. How much was the last one though for Ohio? Ohio was the uh, last one was 105. Oh man, yeah, well, that is a good chunk bigger. Yeah. That was the regional of Dengaroo. I was Ugh. surprised the venue fit fit so many people and had space for more. There's the predictable three forward from the old Tarak or Tenoch. I mean, what else was he gonna do? Two bank maybe. I mean, he's, boost, he's boosting forward to try to but get. What get would some a two bank here. even do for him at this point? A two bank would still be. In probably in both arcs, he would force to use his action as a barrel. At least at this point, you're probably out of range on Vessery. Still range of Riad, and you still get a, one, a range, possible range one shot with Manaru on Vessery. Uh, let's see. Let's see. If the bar- if he had barrel rolled, if Vessery barrel rolled, do you think he would have had it? Yeah, maybe. He might have it here. Uh, uh, still still has it. Three. Take uh, everything back. I would look close from here. Got the range three shot, so at least it's only three dice on four. And then we have auto thrusters to consider along with the focus tokens. Yeah. So. Let's hope. And we got green dice Don't betray him. You see Alfred making fire again, Boy Scout style. I'm gonna go fire. Uh, looks like two, hit. two hits. I'm gonna say two hits. Uh, since I can't three see three that one. He's, he's, uh, looks like he's palping this one to a crit. Oh uh, uh, yes, so two hits and a crit. Yep. So two hit. Yeah, crit. he points oh, the shuttle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alfred, you're. Dude. Alfred, you're a trooper for marking and pointing so that out. So four time. dice. I see two dodge, maybe three dodge. And you got auto thrusters for three. Yeah. Well, I think I see a third dodge in the back there. Oh, no, I guess he's auto. There, oh, no, there that's is, four. There's there's a three. Focus yeah. result. Focus. He could have spent the focus. Yeah, there's so. yeah. three. But he's oh, saving the focus. It maybe. seems like, yeah, he didn't spend the focus tokens. And this is range three through a rock. Ugh. So three dice on five. Uh, it's through debris, bro. Yeah, let's see if it's through it's debris. Probably do debris. Through the debris. 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 Uh, uh, two two hits. hits. I don't know who this Debra is, but and damn it, she gets yeah, shot. Yeah, so it's three hits. Time. Three hits after spending focus token. Yep. Nice. Yes. Three. Look at that. Oh, look. They're even like call, they're, yeah. they're throwing gang signs Nine up dead. on the fucking camera. And then you roll a shit load of dice. It rolls That's, five dice. Yeah, it should be enough. I see, I I see one, two, one evade and three focus. That's more than enough with auto thrusters. Yeah, he's, but uh, yes, yeah, so he has two focus tokens. But he has, to, but he has to spend one focus, which doesn't really matter. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, unless the shuttle and had feedback array, through, I think. So he right. had that, and then he goes through. And if a shuttle it. can get feedback array, I'd be a very sad person. That would be amazing. And then the shuttle fires Emperor Palpatine out the back loading dock, who fires like a burning missile of hate and explodes. You know, there are rear guns on the shuttle. I, I always know. hope there'd be some kind of like really cool like. Alternate the, arc. The, well, the there shuttle. should be some be sort great. of a mo- modification or title card for it to, to mm-hmm. let it go through and shoot it to rear guns. We don't need another reason for the shuttle to be a great carrier no, for you, Palpatine. You, if, if you do that, it <laughs> takes away a crew slot, oh, so you, so you can't put Palpatine on it. He was, oh. he was showing up a, a shield token. See? Manaru the sniper takes off a shield on Vessery. No, he feedback rated. Yeah. yeah. Or that's a thing, too. I totally said he shot instead. Technically, it's a shot. No, it so really isn't. Here's nice my try. question. It's an attack. Do you isn't take it? one damage on Manaru knowing full well that he's got he spent Palpatine. He has well he has an evade token and focus. Yeah, I think you have to be back here. That's the right call. Yeah, no, that's the right call. So it looks like two, uh, hits. T- two hits. Two hits, yes. Blank. On Manaru. Manaru rolls no, one evade, one, one, evade. one damage on top of the feedback. So Manaru damage. leaves the shield, so a total of three shields gone on Manaru from right. Because the feedback one two shields. It's two hits and one. One no, it's one. You one hit and an ion. Oh, I got you. That was two for one hit, one ion token. Yep. So she's it's, in Manaru is has down to one, has one shield yeah. gone. All right. It's times like these where I wish I played other things than rebels, but I like them. Yes, too much. you should play other things besides rebels. No, that's not changing. I will make rebels work. <laughs> now I got lots of toys, man. I play them all, suck at yeah. all of them, so we're good to go. That's, yeah. You don't suck at all of them. Your die suck at all of them. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> actually that? good to go through and play the other stuff just so that you know what the other stuff does when you're and how it maneuvers. So when you yeah. do go through and play against it, you got a better idea of what's going on. Hey, David Hypocrite. I mean, Carver. When's the last time you flew Rebels? Hold on. Uh, I, 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 wait, <laughs> I fly four Rebel Hawks. What do you mean? Uh, uh, you fly uh, yeah. Hawks. That are scum. No, There's no, a I, I, I also fly four Rebel Hawks I'm with Lando crew. How long okay, ago was this? Okay, that's true. I remember this. Yes. I do remember this. How yes. long ago was this? Uh, this was back in our um, goofy ass um, league that um, Ray Ray Fox um, ran, where we just go through and fly. Um, we had to change up our list all the time. I yes. voted relevant. Yes. 
I, I fly I fly them every once in a while. I also flew the CR90 and Outrider 3. So, yes, I do go through and um, fly Rebels every once in a while. Yes. Okay, I remember. I still say irrelevant, but... I still prefer uh, my Scum Hawks, though. I wonder why. All right, so let's take a look here. What's Riot going to do? I mean, like, looking at the angles here, it's almost like Riot has to take a three bank to take stress to remove it just to get a shot. Uh, I mean, I'm okay. I would be okay, totally okay with that decision at this point in the game where right. Riot has full shields and right. you still have Palpatine for modification. And the shuttle at this point is almost like, you know, it can it might be able to make a hard two here to double stress. Yeah, no, it double stress itself, though. That would not be good. I think shuttle might be bugging out slash might try yeah, to pester so, Manaru. So shuttle goes four straight and says, fuck it? No, I can't. It can go three straight. Uh, it might go one bank and bump into um, its allies. Or it could yeah. just go one straight and bump. Either way, the one bank to the left would give it a shot at Manru, possibly. And you think Vessery is going to go at three soft in, or Vessery is going to... Hard three. Hard three? Yep. Okay. I think it's... I think it... There's no way you see a hard one out of uh, the Concord Dawn Protector to the right. Ultanoch is not hard one, hard oneing. So... We know he's going to probably take the long angle. Maybe like he didn't push the limit. No, he can't push the limit. Not stressed. It so yep. it'll probably be a two bank to maintain the distance. <clears throat> you know, part of me almost kind of wishes that uh, old although a hard one just would be talent roll left. Oh yeah, that would actually be a, a great maneuver in I terms mean, of just throwing Alfred off it. That's the let's go out with a blaze of glory move. You know, yeah. right. Oh, we got the three four out of the shuttle. He's like, screw you guys, and we're going home. Sick home. <laughs> yeah, he's getting out. Be nice, I'm out here. Yeah, he's, he's that, getting out. out. And I presume this is to make room for the defenders yeah. to uh, turn in. So you're going to get a three bank out of Riot. Man, a roo -roo. You, you, you know, I could even see a, well, a one bank would hit the debris anyway, so you might as well go for broke for a yeah. three bank. Uh, uh, so I was like, I saw red down on the table. Yeah. Oh, wait, the, 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 table. the mats in this um at this location, you were jammed right. If you were at the top tables, you were jammed right. Yeah, right does, does, Mama, does Mama Jamma make a three straight and barrel roll in the way? That would be awesome. That's what I want. Or even a three bank and jam in the way. Yep, there's the three that's bank. A, that's a two bank. That's a two, that's a two bank. Oh, yep, you're right. No Mama jamming. What does a three bank even have made? It might have just run into the it's vessel. Possible. And this one might as well. Hey, yeah, he's make, Mr. Jones, make sure you're speaking into the mic. Gotcha. Oh, he's, he's got his... Uh, oh, he what? slooped. He Sloop? slooped. What a trooper, what? dude. I like this. He's saying, screw this. I'm going to take me a shuttle out. I love it. No, that's that's not a, that's not the worst call if he didn't want to do the three, if he wasn't confident about the three. Well, he, he figures the other guys are going after the um, old Tarok anyway, yeah. so... My guess is maybe he just didn't want to be feedbacked in that direction or like... Since he might be that, eye on right. that, that is another excellent yeah. point. If if now, that was what Christopher was thinking, that's a good idea. That's an excellent idea. That is that is not a that's not a noob maneuver either. That's actually there's some real insight on that. Planning ahead that far to, for the potential to feedback. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what these other two defenders are doing. Uh, it looks like Christopher is going to focus to focus. Does that me make, makes yeah, all the sense in the world? Focus. Yep. Mr. Daniels, suck that microphone. Guy, go a little closer. There you go. Okay, there we go. Oh, we all got right. a five K turn here. I was I was moving back a little bit to take a breather. No, wait, is it a K? Like, yeah, five straight, forward. Five straight. You can always grab hold of the mic stand. Five pull straight. Forward a little bit of Maybe he no, anticipated the Concord guy. To, to Do you go. feel like there's going to be a barrel coming in this place? I don't know. I I'm surprised. Maybe he just was he like focused on not stressing himself next turn. Who knows? I see some real sexy shit here. If if Ryad makes it makes a barrel roll le uh, to the left. <gasps> I, the, with can with you the actions. That? Well, here's the barrel there roll. Comes. Look, it's a barrel. <laughs> right, you're right. He goes back. So yeah. far, I'm 100% at predicting Riot barrel rolls. Mm -hmm. You are, indeed. So am I. I love your revisionist history, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> right. God, we got to feed Daniel more beer and wine. This shit's great. Right. I, I, I'll have a couple more wine before then. Wine and beer in that order. I'll, so. I'll have more before then. Dude, Don't this order. is what I'm saying. Like, okay. So, what's the thought process here for Alfred? What does he think that he's doing here? Is he block? Is he hoping to block here, or does he genuinely think there's going to be a talon roll to the right? I question the five straight. That yeah. was, 
is like the three bank here with Vessery makes more sense. Sure. I thought it'd be a hard three though, because there's apps like if he does the talent roll here, eh. Hard three is a little far if you think about it. Because if you th if you look at it, a hard three it's kind of a uh, put you in almost an awkward direction too. Well, um, it puts you in front of the debris, sure. I mean, you got one hit point on the ship though. I mean, no, you're right. You're right about that. One hit point, and you've got. Uh, let's see here. I see a hard two brought out. It's a hard two that way. And so we have a complete dodge of Riot's arc in just one maneuver. And then it looks like he he should. Oh, he's going to angle boost and try to get out of the other one. But I don't think he can. Uh, yeah, maybe. But I think he's going to be in that arc. Let's find he's, out. He's going to eat a spoonful of arc dick, I yeah. think. Okay. So once again, Whoa, we've got Mike Jones being right it's on here. It's very close, though. But it's it's it will we'll have to be lasered. But I mean, other if it if it's arc, it's range two through rock. So yeah, he's but still no auto thrusters good. though. Yeah, I mean it's three dice against four plus hate. I don't know. Just wanted to point out the uh, three bank and the hard three would have been the right move there. Just saying. I'm gonna judge you really hard when we. When we're recording your game, I'm just oh, saying. Oh, dude, you should. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I, I, I never, I didn't make any mistakes in that game. So of course, of course not. I didn't. Of course not. You won it, right? <laughs> no, no. I, I, you guys are just going to have to watch the match. Okay, fine. Sometimes even when you don't make mistakes, you lose, but you should watch the match. All right. So it looks like we got a hit. First shot to hit, hit crit. crit. Hit crit. One hit, one crit, two dodge, go to hell. Mm -hmm. Wait, where does he get two? Alfred was rolling defensive dice. Uh, he was going after the shuttle. Oh, for the range three shot. Yep. Correct. Yes, yes. Looks like Alfred has a shot with... Uh, Mr. Vessery? Yep. Vessery is going to roll. Where is his uh, making the fire in Boy Scout style? All right. Let's see. Oh, no, no. Manners? Oh, there. no, he... It looks like he might have been out of. I think he's still rolling dice. Let's see. No shit. No, no, no. They're, they're doing mana rows, so they dodge range him. one. Looks like a hit, hit. Maybe a is that a focus. He'll make it. Yeah. Three, yeah. Hits. Three, yeah. three hits. Three hits versus one. I think he might wow. palp here. He's gonna palp. Points yeah. to palp. For yep, two. There we go. For two damage. Yep. Two damage. Oh, um, two damage. Right. He's got three hole left yes. on the on Palpatino. So look at Christopher, yep. kind of getting a little bit of uh, relief over there for getting two hits. Kind of getting a fair victory over the palp mobile. Help got uh, two damage on him, or two damage on him. Correct. All right, so he's down to three hole. So I mean, obviously we know how long yeah. this game takes because we can see the timer. And uh, actually, is this just a check? Is this timer also visible for everybody on the YouTube channel? Uh, yes, it is. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So you can see there's 23 minutes left in this. How sexy would it be if basically this turned into a 32 to 29 point victory? What an MOV killer that would have been. That would be. You know, that's like that's that's gut punching. Round one, three MOV difference. It's like, ugh, there goes my tournament. Oh, man. I mean, that's a... No, that's a sick, uh, yeah, okay, maybe. It yeah. Is. yeah. <laughs> I was like, trying to think about it. That is, that's a scrotum tugger. That really is. That that's is where you go, that's some oh, bad MOV. Like three MOV, what? And, and, and then the uh, score is so low, too. One of, one of my games in this in this um, thing that did go th was was decided by two MOV. Oh, I God, a, I love that. I had, I had another one decided by... Four MLB. <laughs> oh, we get to watch some fun games. I'm sorry. Oh, Josh Carter. Well, okay, uh, I'm not saying who not, <laughs> none of the, the, Neither one of those was recorded that I know of. Oh, my two games, when I when I get my matches were, that's how close to my mind. That's why also why my MOV really sucked in this tournament. Your MOV was what? You were at the bottom of I the was, uh, yeah, I was in the bottom of the bracket that I finished in. Of, I was down at the bottom of the uh, MOV standings. Okay, so what do you do as a shuttle? Because you're, gonna, uh, you're probably going to fucking die. Uh, sh shuttle just runs away. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you do like... Do you three soft? Actually, three soft might rock you. Yeah, it would. So I think too soft? Maybe you disengage. Uh, too, yeah, too soft to the right. And just say, oh, I'm out of here. I'll, I'll see you later. See, and he's bye, bye, bye. grabbing the three. Oh, three soft. Three soft. No, no, three soft makes does it. miss. It does miss yep. the rock. Yeah, yeah the just angle. this angle's really yeah, hard to tell. Yeah. Yep. And stress, we'll see, hopefully. There yep, we go. There we Pal go. Yep. Palpatine's like, get me the fuck out of here. It's like, uh, ah, it's Emperor Palpatine. Palpatine. There's Emperor Palpatine sitting in the shuttle yeah. like, drive me away faster, mortal. <sighs> you piss ant. Okay, so at this point, old Terok's going, okay, I got to kill me an emperor. 
Man, we're just going. I gotta kill me an emperor. You see, maybe a five four. Oh, five four. My head debris. I can't tell. Yeah, from it'll, it'll debris. I think. And he's trying to target lock here from K four. Nope. Chuck test. I think that actually made it. I think it made it. Yeah. Did it? Oh my yes. god! It did. Yep, there we go. Holy crap! Yep. I gotta say, K four on. Uh, on Manaru, that is a good idea. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's really good. Mm-hmm. And I also like K four on any of the any of the uh, Lancer crap Lancer class ships too, just because the three the the, the greens on that ship are so good. That's because they're all greens. All the threes are green. It's yes. great. It's amazing. It is so fast. So so fast. So now, now- this is really neat. What's going on here with the uh, um, what's going on with the defenders is basically so you have Vesri who uh, had to K turn, Ryad who had to K turn because they're now kind of out of position like crazy. Yeah, the previous turn kind of botched what they were going to do the following turn for for sure. Yeah, so Tarek has bought himself at least two more turns of life, I think. Eh, green die betrays. Who knows? What the hell did he just do? Yeah, he did too a hard? two bank, two bank, or something like that, and, and then it was forward. a boost forward, one bank. Yeah, is he gonna get arc on the emperor? You think? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to he's, he's trying to did. kick the emperor off. Yeah, the emperor should be dead. And that makes it a thirty-two twenty-nine game with nineteen minutes left. Well, not yet. If he can Let's kill see. the emperor, if he can get, the, it looks like Fen, uh, not Fen, Tarok will get the kill on Palpatine, which will yeah. b- b- bump Christopher up to twenty nine points. Yep, yep, yep. That, however, that's not enough. No, he's down by three points. I'm just saying that there's nineteen minutes left. Now, all mm. of a sudden, they got to do some real shenanigans, and the. Uh, but then again, let's face it, old Tarok is dead. He's he's dead as soon as somebody hits him once hard. All right, but if if he can go through and take I off, I see one hit, two hits. I can't tell the third I'm die. Pretty yeah. sure, uh, I think it's a hit. No, it's a focus result that got so turned three into total hit. hits. Three total hits, and, and that was an evade. One, yep. So he once he takes two more damage, two more damage. Uh, oh, a hit and a crit. Uh, it was a hit and a crit. And the and, crit. Uh, uh, can't hit. tell what that is because of a glare. Glare. Um. But my guess is that is like stunned pilot or something like that. One of those where he can't be assigned straight maneuvers. Yeah, something. something like that. Uh, he's got one damage left, right. so that means that uh, Manaru might get the kill. Your range three shot, believe. Oh, look at that! Just out of range. Yep. Yes. So, like so I said, Christopher's actually been doing fairly well on the on the flying here for a guy that's has only been playing for seven games. Yeah, uh, he's legit. doing a hell of a job. The yeah, the only criticism you can have of Chris, uh, Chris is how Manaru was positioned in the earlier part of the game, where he has K four Astromech and K four was wasn't doing anything. Yeah, and then the he initial lost a lot of effectiveness. Yeah, then the initial engagement was poor. All right, so it looks two like hits? that's two, two hits. hits. Yeah, two so he's two. dead. Well, he's got he's got a dodge too. Uh, oh, he's got a dodge too now. There's one and, and then uh, uh, then Emperor. Why it, does it, Palpatine it, it, exist? It, wait, well, we'll see if he's going to do. He's thinking about it. Of course he's going to palp yeah. it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? One more turn of Palpatine. Why not? Yep. Yeah. Ridiculous. No, oh, no, no. Oh, no. That was enough because oh. one was a focus yep. result, I guess. I guess one was a focus, so. Yeah. Wow. And then Palpatine wow. is now dead. Also, Chris Tully's took Alfred's die. I am so guilty of that where I just grab everything on the board. And then I, I have bought only three dice packs, and I somehow end up with, like, 16 green die. Sounds like me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> dice thief. I know. Well, I mean, I don't take people's dice. I just bought, I've bought too many collections where I now have like eight. Okay, so dice. that gives um thirty-two twenty-nine, buddy. Thirty-two twenty-nine. Okay. So that initial prediction about twenty-nine thirty-two. Well, I'm just saying that it's twenty-nine thirty-two with sixteen minutes left. So yeah. I mean, this game is. But you gotta you gotta figure that uh, that old Tarek is dead. All he needs is just he needs to just get hit once. He's got one hole left. Old Tarek is a dead motherfucker. He is about to be extinct. D- green dice fail. Christopher has to hope for some automatic R five P eight damage here. And yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe he he can strip a defender down. I mean, old Tarak is no slouch. I mean, you've got a ship that can react to defenders. Yeah. And that strips all tokens at range one. 
So Christopher isn't exactly dead in the water here. Palpatine's no. gone, which takes away the automatic evade. Yeah. So automatic evade gone, tokens gone. You've got raw dice versus raw dice. If Christopher is able to get a way to re-engage where he can arc dodge one of the defenders and not get shot by the other while, he's got taking, a chance. while shooting, he's got a pretty good shot. I mean, this is, you know, it looks a little one-sided at this time, at this point, but I'm telling you, he's not, as long as old Tarak is on the table, he's got a shot. Yeah, but you see, this is where, this is where old Tarak has this chance of maybe doing something great, but likely going to do something that's going to get him shit on. Because he's only got one hull. He has, he has to fly old Tarek exactly correct. If he doesn't fly correct, then he's going to basically just give the ship away. Right. And all Alfred has to really do is spread out his arcs. Yep. And accept that he's going to get shot at by one as long as he has shots on the other. Just split it apart, come up from Should a couple okay. different angles, and yep. shazam. Yep. And what is it? Vessary's down a shield, I think. Vessary is the only one down a shield. That's yes. correct. So this is the, what, the, what the current standings are as far as I've been able to keep track. Yeah, well, so good to you're going to see maybe a sloop out of Manaru here to re-engage. That seems reasonable, mm-hmm. especially and a sloop to the left to get the uh, to get the green. I don't know if you see a K-turn or a hard one out of here. Uh, I'd say maybe a K-turn because the Protectoriates are they're, they're both fast. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. So is that the two sloop? Mm, yes. Yep. Looks like it. Yep. Two sloop left. Green maneuver. If there's anybody in range, no, it's you white maneuver. White maneuver. Oh, it's, it's yeah, white to the yeah. left. You're yeah. yeah. Their sloops are white. Yeah. The the one sloop to the left is white. The one to the right is red. Correct. I remember yeah. when the ship first came out, everybody was complaining about how weird its freaking dial was. The asymmetrical dial, and I yeah. believe it was Jonathan Messmore, yeah. of all people, who took top four at Nova with Dengaru, yeah. saying, that ship's terrible. Who would fly an asymmetrical dial? Right. He would. He, he would that win guy. with it, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Dengaru. God, I still hate that list so much. I think the biggest problem with Dengaru is there are just so many good lists out there that are very, very good at just saying... You know how you like to strategize and make plans. Yeah, if you don't have a list specifically bi- like based around or have have at least the tools to beat this list, then you are not going to win. It's always frustrating. Yes. You will not win. You will only lose. Yeah, it, it can be a negative play experience. I mean, I think a lot of people these days feel bad about defenders. There was a the guy that uh, there was a guy that took uh, was it. He made it into the top eight with three contracted scouts with uh, Mindlink and uh, R4 Agrimec. Yeah. And he talked about how, like, um, you know, there's just a negative play experience when, you know. Here's a weird question for you, man. Is, mm-hmm. it, is it so much of a negative play experience if X7 oh, is only a negative yeah. one point? I mean, any, any nerf toward defenders would be welcomed in my mind. Because they just seem too prevalent. They, they've become this massively meta ship. Oh, they're just, they're so good. I mean. But they know. went from dog shit to amazing. So literally one they were still They were still playable. Vessery yeah. was still playable. Oh, yeah. Um, I saw a Tyler Tippett flew uh, Vessery targeting computer fell um, shuttle with Yor. That was actually quite good because... He would basically take the stress off for the hard one on um, Vessery and like, you know, HLC. And still, there's a reason why you can't take either the D title or the X7 title with the HL- HLC. Because even the great game drivers are like, oh, okay, that'd be a little broken. Yeah, the Pal- if the Fenders didn't have Palpatine behind them, they would still be, they're still good, but they aren't as dominant as if um, you have Palpatine behind it. It's their stat line is just so good. Here. Threes across the board, and like they, you know, the 4K, and like, you know, usually, you know, when you in a jousting game, being able to turn around for basically free is so good. Yeah, it's ju- it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's just really ridiculous. I mean, and the fact that they're that their greens are all straight is made up for the fact that by the the 4K being white. Here, here's my question: Which would you rather play against? Is triple defenders or uh, Commonwealth? Ew. I'd rather play against trip defenders personally. Yeah, because yeah, Palpatine and his ever, ever because you can focus down. Changing. You can focus if you have if you focus your fire, you can deal damage toward a defender. Right. Um, 
Whereas with Palpatine, you might be able to scratch the paint. It's, you know. Yeah, d- I think Vader is about to get uh, taken the face or give it back to the face. Yeah. The longer you leave Palpatine on the board, the more he affects the overall overall flow of the game. Absolutely. I mean, he's, I mean, the, the thing is, in a dice results game, being able to modify one die in your direction a turn is disgusting. It's really good. It's, yeah. I mean, it's well worth the eight points. And it looks like uh, Mana Rubera rolled off the um, off the side there. Trying to anticipate maybe a three soft. Or perhaps getting, just making sure you get shots. Although with Feedback Array, you wouldn't really care. But. And it looks like we got about about 10 minutes left left here and stuff in the, um, this in the match. And this, this is just an estimate because at the um, tournament, they went actually, as soon as guys were... Uh, um, get to their tables. They were almost just immediately starting the dials. So we're got, we've got a rough time estimate. About ten minutes left here. Wow. Well, Manaru is gonna is gonna live the dream here. Looks like he's gonna take some to the face here. That's what it looks like. I'm about to take some Defender Bukaki. <laughs> yeah, it looks like two shots right now. Double fisting it right in the face. And then old um, Terox from looks like Pop- mm, K turn maybe 4K. Uh, oh, might be yeah. talony time. I guess it's gonna be 4K time. 4K. Yeah. That means I gotta get that stressed. Yeah. yeah. So Manaru sucks the stress in the face hole. They both do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> sucks the stress in the face hole. <laughs> at least, at least the focus. <laughs> here's the here's the screwball part though, because Manaru barreled. Manor they both can't, get, fo- right? Yeah, so so the focus nanigans didn't happen either. Looks like uh, Alfred's leaning over and saying, "But if you do this and that, that you can then that and this, this." Yeah, the, the uh, target lock. Yes, yeah, so he passed the target toe yeah. locko. Yeah. Over. So that um, Vestry or doesn't have his um target lock ability. Yep. It's always a plus. That that's the thing that I really legit love about this is that. Manaru is just so janky. It's all know, right. Looks like Vessery's back in the lace shot. And pipe. And sure, it's like you'll get Dengaru was never really fire. a problem with the Dengaru list. Come on, Alpha Road Dice. Manaru could one, so well. one, one, two, two. Wah, ah, ah. And looks like three. a three for focus token. Spend the focus token for three. Wait, is he? he is so three hits, one dodge, one dodge. And juked. So three shields. So that's going to be two shields and inside, because he already had a he already uh, had a uh, a feedback array shield gone. Correct. Crit. Oh, oh shit! Crit. Couldn't see it. It's uh, uh, one of those like action them. to get rid of. Is that console fire? Um, I can't tell. It could be console fire. I think it, it looked like something. It had a large body of text. So I'm going to guess something like console fire. Yeah, we do appreciate trying to go through and um, put the dice up there, but there is a um, glare that came that that we got on the screen there. But we do uh, appreciate revenge it. Droid revenge shot droid shot here. Do we get any luck? Uh, Pops yeah. a shield. Uh, Pops a go. shield. Here revenge droid. So there's a sh- another shield. Trademark off revenge droid. Yeah. I mean, hell, you know, you get feedback revenge droid. You know, you might actually be able to do something here uh, and get some of these defenders. And that is one hit. Now, is Three the, is hits. Re- oh, shit. Is Revenge Droid once a turn, or is it once per shot? Once per, once shot. per turn. Once no, per, once turn. per turn? Yeah, you oh. can get it one time. It'd be OP if it, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, he bumped on, it. Man. be so good, though. Oh, stop. I think I think he bumped his ship there a little bit, but they're not correcting it. Yeah, he, he bumped oh, wow. it. Oh, wow, three more damage. That yeah. means uh, Manorooski's almost dead go. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so that's very, half points Very close to death. Yeah, she's down to one hole left. Yeah, so calculate up uh, half points on Manoroo there, my man. Uh, we'll just a minute. Let me put this up. This up. So half points on Manaru. Manaru is a 36 point ship, so it's 13 points. 18 points for 18. those keeping track at home. Okay. Eight. What is it? 18? Okay. Yeah, 18 yes. for people who know so, math. I, hey, I, I'm a computer programmer. Uh, I don't need to know. It looks like math. three natural hits for Christopher on Vessery. Vessery, yeah. How many dodges? One. One dodge. One dodge. One evade token, probably. So one more cool? shield. So no shields on Vessery. Yep, so Vessery's shields are now cooked. I don't know if that was worth 
Uh, Manaru taking five to the face, but you know it is what it is. That's the reason now shieldless. Okay. Shieldless. Shieldless. There we go. Oh, nice and updated. Basically, at this point, you go for a hail mary. <clears throat> you go for Vessery. Yeah, you kill Vessery, you win. Try the problem. Block, the problem of this can all be traced back to Manaru not being in the initial. Yeah, test. It, That's, it's amazing how much you set up at the beginning will go through and definitely affect your affect your game. Ooh, and to look, tell. Oh wait, Vessery took a damage. Yeah. Yep. Looks like a crit. Look, uh, it took a crit. So he is down. Vessery's down a two hole. How, how did he take it? How did he take a crit? Uh, I guess there's only two. Uh, one evade at the end. Maybe. Ultimately. Because I mean, if he rolled a, if he rolled a crit on Revenge Droid, then they both would have taken damage, and Manaru would be dead. Yeah. Right. Because I I hope that they didn't misplay the Manaru misplay the Revenge Droid yeah. crit. We'll see. This That's is where our it would have been nice to have our dumb dice cam. Um, on the table and being able to get the get the yeah. view of it. It was a very very crowded location. Ultimately, though, you have to remember that. So one could, one could say we the do what we can. Probably quite girthy. Yes, it was. Clever. That's oh, what she God. said. All right, so this is um pretty much where we're at. The Vessaries, you know, from our calculations, he's got down to the two hole left. Uh, you got uh, Manaru who is almost dead, and uh, wow. Oterok who is. More than one foot into the grave. So we're looking at like a, maybe a three bank from uh, Riot and a 4K from uh, Vessery. And Old Tenoch is going to try to be relevant by doing three forward, perhaps. Here's a, re here's a really weird thought. Do you think that... Oh, see, damn it. I don't think a... Uh, for, part of me wants to believe that a one hard right from, uh, uh, from Manaru will fit in. But I don't think it will. Not only that, but the, 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 what, what needs to happen is that Manaru needs to not have that stress, and a one hard right doesn't get rid of stress. One hard left does. Oh, right. So Manaru probably so, is doing like a two forward. What about Maybe a, try to what, block what Riad. What about a one hard left with a barrel roll to block, the, uh, to block Riad moving in? Well, I think the two forward would accomplish that. Yeah. Because you've got the debris making sure that Riad can't go three forward. Yeah. So, Riot, we're thinking it's going to be making a like a three soft left. Mm -hmm. Shenanigans are ahoy. Oh, There's I like the attempt at a block. Mm. What? Looks like a two straight to get, and no stress. Yep, two straight, perfect. Focus is up. Yep. Seems good. And now, ultimately, like old Terra could even make a uh, could make a white move here, keep the stress, still have the focus. Right. Well, getting the evade would be great because old old Terra really wants to token up now. Yeah, and if you can get a range for Terra on Riad. Oh, ooh, oh yes, nice block. Oh, nice that? block. He went for the one soft, very janky. Yeah, that's a one. The soft one's always janky, Parker. Soft ones are very janky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so jank that, all over your face and that, lower back. Yeah, that's what she said. Just, just fucking butter smear me like a fresh <laughs> princess. So, four K, but now Manaru dies. Probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Gonna, it, it could be range three. It could be. Mm, it's but, close. Let, let's see here. Let's see what. What Old Tenoch does. Now, if Old Tenoch is smart, maybe you keep this dress and go five forward to try to get shots and strip strip stuff. Yeah. Strip so at least the focus token. Try to strip the focus token from Bess. Or you four yeah. straight and boost. Well, so yeah. He wanted, he wanted to get rid of the stress. Green, so okay. He goes three forward to get rid of the stress and is irrelevant in oh, this turn of combat. Oh, shit, yeah. See, I just don't know, I just don't know the barrel. I just don't know the, the dial on the... on the protectorate that well. I don't really know the dials on any of these ships. I just know the what they do. That's because I only fly rebels, but that's my fault. That's okay, my friend. You're rebel scum, and that's all right. Yes, I'm okay. Yes, with that. yes, you are. I fly a little bit of everything, and notice I, I am not a I am not very good at any of it. So therefore, I am a mediocre player across all boards. Oh, uh, I think you sell yourself short there. We do have some well, very very, very good players in the league that we we play in. So now we were talking about that before, and we're we're really lucky enough to have like some of the best players in the country living in Central Ohio. That's a fact. Like legit, we do. I, I I would put I would put the Central Ohio people up against Nova, up against uh, 
pretty much any of the major regions across the U.S., and I think that we compete. So we're really quite lucky to have that level of competition. Unfortunately, being a like a 45% win rate player like I am uh, means looks that like you so play against a lot of bullshit. Somebody took a damage there. Holy shit. Yeah. He, That's a crit. Uh, that was a crit on... Wow, did Riot get crit? No, Riot didn't no, get critted. It, uh, no, it was Riot. Yeah. Yeah, Riot. How the hell did Riot crit? get critted? How did, when did Riot lose shields? What in the shit just happened? It's just like there was a random dice roll and like potatoes. No, no. Oh, was no, it a shield? Maybe, no, they don't have. I don't get it. We, don't we missed something. <laughs> Wow, we're talking about like how good people are, and we're not paying attention to the fucking action. I have no idea where that damage came that from. Was so yes, weird. welcome to Amateur Hour. Oh, wait, nah, no. Amateur Hour. Who cares? Let's talk mm. about goats. <laughs> oh I no, mean, was it console fire from the Vessery? No, that wouldn't no. have. Uh, that that wouldn't. Yeah, have. no, it's beginning combat phase. Uh, that might have been. Oh, that, that maybe might have been. Vessery had his console. Yeah, fire. yeah, but that wouldn't explain the crit. No, the, the the crit was from the previous turn. Oh, I see. Nice. All right, so, so that, that's I right. think that puts uh, them Vestry down to, to two one. hole, one hole, one, one hole, one hole left. I'm finally right about something. Good job, buddy. <laughs> hey, okay. even the clock is right. Um, so we've wrong got clock is right. Twice this day. day. Yeah. Wrong go. clock is. God uh, damn it, three, Carver! If you're gonna say some two. witty aphorism from like the 19 teens, at least get it right. Hey, man. that's why I'm the technical guy back behind the scenes. Oh, that's what she said. We're seeing oh, if God. he's in arc and we're measuring to see if uh, Christopher's got a shot in arc at old Tanakh or to Roach. Or I old, believe old right now. I don't think, I, I don't know. Let's oh, see. we've got a ruling here. We've got um, Jordan ruling here. Um, we have Judge Arm. He's got the, uh, he's got the long flowing um, orange We have strawberry Diddly blonde. We cannot cross the streams. There, repeat, I, I we cannot cross we're the lo- streams. We're looking to see if there's a shot. Whoops, did somebody bump the um, Vessery? Yep, so if it bumped Vessery, then shit's rolling. We have shot sign. It looks like it. Alfred's grabbing his green dice. This yep. is the last shot, if I'm not Fumbling mistaken. With it. Yeah. Correct? Maybe. Two hits. Two hits. Does he Dazucci? Wait, he's target locking. Yep, there we go. Target mm-hmm. locking. Roll that extra re- die. Daddy needs a new no, pair of hate. Ah, two, two hits. hits. That's not going to do anything against defenders. One dodge. Nope. One dodge. One dodge. No, he's got other things. He's got the, and he's got he's got the evade. So there's two. He, he spends the he other one for the evade. He needed one hit. We only got Holy him to spend the focus shit. token. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now the mana is going to be toast. toast. Done so. Yeah, mana is taking it up straight pipe. Now, Revenge, so Droid, only like works at, Revenge Droid only works in front arc, right? Or is it? A, or is it any shot? I think I'm pretty sure it's any shot. Any shot. I think I'm. I think I'm thinking of. And Manaru, it looks like that's a. Is that a focus there? Yeah. Yeah. Spending it. Change it to to an evade. To dodge. To spodge. Do So now it's revenge yep. droid time. Oh, is it happening? Yep. Revenge droid. Oh, oh no! no. Like, like, but Manaru gets to shoot back though. No, no, no. He oh, doesn't. did he kill her? Yep. Dead. Oh damn. So it must have been three on two. And that's, yeah, it must that's have been three on two. Yeah. Yep, that was yep. three on two instead. So now it's uh, so basically we add another eighteen points to uh, Alfred, and then so Alfred's sitting uh, at sixty-eight. They're packing up. Yeah, yeah no, it's Christopher, it's full points. And Christopher's for sitting on that. Yeah, we, that, that was the end of the um, end of the match there in time. Oh, it was time up. Yeah, time, yeah, time, time, wow. time was up there. So that's oh, interesting because that was actually a lot closer. Yeah, if he had not lost, um, if he had not lost uh, Manaru. And had taken out the defender, he probably would have won. Uh, he he most likely would have been most uh, definitely would have won. Basically, sixty four to fifty. Yeah, I mean, well, half points. Yeah, yeah, sixty four to fifty. Was, I mean, even, for an inexperienced player, that was really good. That didn't suck that, at all. No. I'm actually really impressed with how Christopher pulled that stuff out, man. That was Agreed. really good. Even yeah. for a Cubs fan, it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, any final closing thoughts on that match before we head on to our next match and our marathon recording session? Uh, my, my closing thoughts are like I was impressed with the strength of Manaru. I mean, like even you know I've played against it before, but it's just it's so good. And like I thought both players did a pretty good job, with the exception of Christopher on the opening joust. So yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and Christo- if Christopher would have positioned Manaru more closely, where Manaru could have actually taken part in the game more then I think that the extra target locks and just the general, just the two dice sniper shots, dice would have failed. I think that uh, Manaru starting closer to the pack 
would have meant a dead vestry, all other things considered. Yeah, and, and the only, and I guess the only thing, because we're talking about Christopher so much, the only thing for Alfred was when he got his two defenders in the corner after m- trying to miss a shot on uh, Tarok. Yeah. And that it was kind of a crucial moment allowed Christopher back in the game because it, w- it was about two or three turns of not shooting on Tarok. Yeah. Uh, and allowed uh, Manor to put in some damage. And so, t- so Tarok and Manor managed to kill off the Emperor. And yep. through shenanigans, managed to put enough damage onto Vessery to make it much, much closer than it could have been. So even a half, like so, a half health, um, literally just a half health, Manaru plus a dead Vessery means Christopher wins. Yeah. A fully dead, uh, Manaru plus a, a thing. fully dead Vessery. What I think would have turned into it would have stayed a an Alfred win, yes. but just like a couple of points. Just it's ridiculous how close that was. Yeah, it was very very close. The, uh, if it was the pain bot got the kill in the end, it would have been like That'd a been six so point victory f- for Alfred only. That would have given me such boners. Excellent. So, uh, David, any closing thoughts? Uh, no, I'm going to give you guys a break, and we'll get ready for round two. All right. So thank you all for joining us on this fantastic commentary. I am your host, LP. We've got Daniel and Mike and David all saying bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. everybody. And go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>